يا شيخ ما قصة العزير هل قال اليهود أن عزير ابن الله اليهود. قالت اليهود عزير ابن الله وقالت النصارى المسيح ابن الله ذلك قولهم بأفواهم العزير هو رجل أعطوني دقيقة Take your time شيخ The topic of this video is as you could probably guess is on who Uzair is. The Quran makes the claim that Jews believed in a figure named Uzair as the son of God in the same sense that Christians believe Jesus is the son of God. My challenge for any Muslims watching this video or anyone who wishes to attempt to validate the Quran here is to show any single reference to any person named Uzair in Jewish history. My claim is that Jews never had a person, prophet, priest, king, or anyone named Uzair in their history. They certainly never took this person as a divine son of God. And if you can prove otherwise, I'll be sure to do a part two of this video and respond. But, like our Sheikh friend, you might need a minute. Uh, now, am I exaggerating? Or was there actually never really a person named Uzair in Jewish history? How about we ask around? A lot of translations of this verse say that Ozer isn't actually Ozer, but Ezra. Ezra, who was a scribe and a high priest during the days of the first temple. Now this view has precedence in Muslim commentaries, such as At-Tabari where he records Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, who is said to be Hibr al-Ummah, because Muhammad prayed that his God would give him the proper understanding and interpretation. He explains that the Jews lost the Torah and that Ezra was able to pray to Allah and that he would give the Torah back to his people. And eventually, Allah gave the Torah back to him and he restored it. And because of that, Ibn Abbas says, that's why he was called the Son of God. Let's examine that and think about that logic for a minute. Uh. The simple problem with this is that Ozer is not Ezra in Hebrew, Arabic, or in English. And not only is there this linguistic problem, but to think about the logic that a scribe writing down God's book will be worthy enough to consider as God's divine son. It's ridiculous. Why wouldn't the Jews consider Moses to be God's divine son? Because Moses is the one who God revealed the Torah to in the first place. There are so many issues with that. And again, the Quran never says Ezra, it says Uzair. But if we want to be gracious to the Muslims and accept the correction of their God's word, then sure, from here on out, we'll be calling that the corrected Quran, the Quran that replaces Uzair with Ezra. And let's see if this idea has any weight to it. Did the Jews say that Ezra was the son of God? in the same sense that Christians believe that Jesus is the only begotten, divine Son of God? Okay. So not only has this guy never heard of Uzair, but even if we correct Allah's Qur'an and replace it with Ezra, he says that Jews do not esteem him as the Son of God in the sense that Christians believe Jesus to be. But perhaps in a general sense that Jews are all considered to be God's children, in which case the corrected Qur'an would make zero sense. If all Jews were considered to be God's children, in the same exact sense, then why single Ezra out? It would be wrong and mistaken to suggest that he's special and unique in the sense that Christians consider Jesus to be. What makes this view even more problematic is that in the 19th century, there was a Jewish man named Yaakov Safir, a meshulach, which is an emissary who collects charity funds for rabbis. Usually, they do lots and lots of traveling. This particular meshulach traveled extensively, made his way from Australia to India to Yemen. He collected notes, traditions from all of these Jewish communities around the world in a diary which was later published in his notable ethnographic work titled Evan Safir. In this work, he notes that there was a tradition 
amongst Jews in southern Arabia and in Yemen who believed that Ezra placed a curse on their community. They had a great aversion to Ezra and even refused to name their children after him. So if this tradition is as ancient as they believe, as Yaakov Safir documented, which they think goes back to Ezra himself, then not only would Jews at the time of Muhammad, specifically where he lived in Arabia, not believe that Ezra was a special divine son of God, but they had animosity and hatred towards him, which completely contradicts the idea of the corrected Quran's claim that Jews took him to be the son of God. How embarrassing. What we'll do now is let Jews speak for themselves, like in the previous clip, and ask them if they believe, as the corrected Quran claims, that Ezra is the son of God. Maybe you guys remember this person from a previous video. You know how much I am very anti-Christian. I mean, I just said all churches in Israel should be destroyed, right? And what you didn't see in that video, but what he specifically asked to be recorded was... Ariel, was, Ariel, listen, right? I'm going to tell sweating. you something. You can go spiritually <laughs> poach people somewhere else, Yilda. Yilda. Question for you. When your God got ripped apart in a cross... No, Ariel, I'm, I'm glad this is recorded, by the way. I, I am question, so Ariel, glad Ariel, this is yeah, recorded. No, upload this. Upload. Uh, don't even edit yes. anybody. Anybody he can lost take this statement that I'm making right now. Ed. He just lost his mind. Ariel, Ariel, Ariel. I never was going to get put on a cross and ripped apart like a prime rib steak. Wow. So not only does he wish destruction on all churches in Israel, but he also blasphemes the Lord in some of the ugliest, disgusting terms. I was going to put captions on that, but I couldn't get myself to type those words. But as you can see, he's certainly not sympathetic to Jesus, Christianity, or Christian apologetics. You can see him working with Muslim apologists here, where he joins them hand in hand, to attack Jesus and argue against Christians. And you may have also seen him here. Well, I am uh, I am not a Christian. I am a Jew. By the way, you can you can call me because it's my uh, real name. But uh, I am not a I am not a believe I am a, a Jew. I believe in the God of uh, Ibrahim alayhi salam and the you know Abraham, Yitzhak, Yaakov, uh, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and not in the God of the Christians. And firstly, I want to say what uh, Hashim what you said about uh, Isaiah 9 and 12 they're both completely right. He's not mentioned by name. The word that is used is Yeshuati, meaning my salvation. Uh, this is, and the thing, the problem with the Christians, even the ones that come on the live stream, just everywhere in general, is that uh, the thing is, is that they um, mistranslate a lot of the Hebrew. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see what this guy has to say about the idea that Jews believe that Ezra is the son of God, as the corrected Quran states. This comes from a discussion he had with Sam Shamon, where Sam began to question him on some of the things that the Quran claims, such as, Jesus being the Messiah of the Jews when they identified him as such and tried to kill him and crucify him. And then on our topic, if he agreed with the corrected Quran's claim that Jews believe that Ezra is the son of God. Is the Quran wrong in that regard? Uh, yes. Say it again. Is the Quran wrong in to say that the Jews uh, came to Muhammad and said, uh, that, you know, we have killed Al-Masih, you know, Jesus, yes. and then, then they'd be wrong. Okay, and yet you still go on their channels to bash Christians because you think they're closer to you than we are to you, right? Yes. Oh, at least you admit you're a hypocrite and a tool of the devil. I appreciate you. You're very honest, and I respect that. Now, another thing. Well, I do. Before we go to Tanakh, in chapter 9, verse 30, Surat al Toba, chapter 9, verse 30, did Muhammad lie when he said, your ancestors say that Uzair, Ezra, is the son of Allah? And on that grounds, the Muslims should attack you Jews and subjugate you until you pay jizya. Well, the general interpretation of tafsir of that verse is, especially by, you know, people who are mafasir on like, you know, Ibn Hazm, generally okay. take that as a sect of Jews, you know, from okay. you know, can Arabia. I, can I put holes through Ibn Hazm's lie? Sure. I mean, okay. I, I agree Ibn Hazm was not the most brightest person, but no, I'm saying, you know, uh, forget the Ibn tafsir. Hazm. Number one, let them show you any source other, other than the Quran and the Muslims pointing to such a Jewish sect. What proof do they mm. have apart from the Muslims? Give me the proof. I don't dis. I mean, I don't disagree. Okay. My, my uh, second. Point. I don't disagree with you. Okay, second. I don't point. disagree with you. Either. In the context, the Jews are being likened to Christians, not a sect of them, but it's assumed this is a common belief, so common that they imitate Christians and saying Jesus is the Son of Allah. That's the verse. The Jews say Uzair is the Son of Allah, and the Christians say the Messiah is the Son of Allah. So it's saying 
the Jews are like Christians in the generality because it's the general belief of Christians that Jesus is the Son of God, not simply a sect. Do you agree that's right? That the Jews also in their generality believe Ezra is the Son of Allah? No. And yet you still join them, my goodness, on their channel to bash Christians. Wow. I want to say shame on you, but you have no shame because if you had shame and honor, you wouldn't do that. But that's okay. You show that you belong to the same spirit that inspired Muhammad and your rabbi. So glory to Jesus for that. Let's ask one more Jewish polemicist this question. This time, it's a rabbi. Like the previous one, he's not friendly towards Christianity. In fact, he hates Jesus. And just like the previous one, he's a good little dhimmi, which is exactly why Muslims love them both. Here's an example of him showing his hatred towards Christianity. And the wooden image and incense altars will no longer stand. This is an unambiguous reference to Christianity, to Edom, and that Christianity must be utterly destroyed. And that is how the full force of the Messianic Age will arrive and is by this means that Israel will have a complete atonement for its sins. Now, once again, the corrected Quran states in chapter 9 verse 30 that Jews say that Ezra is the son of God. Let's see what the same rabbi, Tovia Singer, has to say about that. Of course, everybody who reads it is going, wait, I don't know any Jew who believes that Ezra a great prophet, and incidentally is considered a prophet in Islam as well. Uh, I don't know any Jew who believes that Ezra was the son of God. And we say he goes on to state how he believes that Muslim commentators deal with this at great length, and he thinks that they do a good job. However, he never gives any evidence, not a shred of evidence anywhere from Jewish texts or anywhere in Jewish literature that state that Jews ever believe this. So these two Jews, both who wish and pray for the destruction of Christianity in Israel. All churches in Israel should be destroyed. Christianity must be utterly destroyed. Both unsympathetic to Christian apologetics, both love to appease Muslims, yet neither are able to agree or prove the Quranic claim that they or their ancestors believe that Ezra was the son of God. The verse claims that people utter this with their mouths. And it doesn't end there. It also says, may Allah destroy them. Again, destroy them for what? For repeating the claim that Ezra is the son of God. However, as we've seen, there is zero evidence that any Jew has ever believed in a person named Uzair or Ezra to be the son of God as the corrected Quran states. So the people uttering nonsensical words with their mouths are actually the Muslims. They're repeating this baseless claim over and over again that Jews believed something that they never believed in. But I do not pray that God destroys them like the Quran does for making the false claim which they utter with their mouths. Instead, I pray and we as Christians pray that the God, the true God, saves all of the Muslims from the lies of Islam. And we pray that God saves all of the rabbinic Jews and all of these enemies of Christianity. Jesus is Lord, and thank you for watching this video. I, I know people think that I'm anti-Christian. I don't know where they would get that idea.